Suppose you run 400 meters on June 1st. On each successive day, you run 50 meters longer than the day before. Write a series in summation notation to describe the total sum of all of your runs during the month of June. First, let's figure out what's happening here. We're running 400 meters on day one. I'll say that's A sub one plus A sub two, that is 400 meters plus 50. So I'll put that in parentheses. Plus on the third day, June 3rd, you run the 400 meters plus the 50 plus another 50. So that's plus 100. Plus, let's take it out to the fourth day. The original 400 plus the 100 from the previous day. Well, that's 500 total the previous day plus another 50. So that's 150 added on to that original run. So what is going on here? Well, we've got the A sub 1, 400, plus the 50, or 50 times something. Let's see here. So the 100 is can be written as 50 times 2. And the 150 can be written as 50 times 3. Or in other words, I've got a 4 here, and I have a 3 here. So this is 50 times n minus 1, where n is that, that um, number of the, the term in this series. By the way, series means that you're adding some sequence. So that, that's the difference between a sequence, uh, sequence and a series. So let's use the summation notation. We have, we have uh, well, I'll just write this out, the nth term, a sub n equals the 400 plus 50 times n minus 1. All right, so that's, that's how we write the nth term. Now let's build up. What are we adding here? The summation notation, we use the capital sigma, the Greek letter. We're going to start n at 1 at the first term. And we'll say 400 plus 50 times n minus 1. And that works. If you plug in 1 here, you get 1 minus 1 is 0. So 50 times 0 is 0. So you just have the original 400 for the first term. And the summation notation means that we're going to add every single term. So this whole thing, 400 plus 50 times n minus 1, whatever this whole thing in brackets turns out to be, we're going to add up to um, onto the preceding term and, and so on and so on, just how it's written up here. We've got addition. But how far are we going? Ah, it's the month of June, 30 days in the month of June. So from the 1st to the 30th, and there it is. There's the summation notation for that series.